Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we'll try to understand insert into command in SQL. So the concept of uh, creation of the table. So uh, the concept of creation of the table has already been discussed in our previous video. So we have created two tables, employee and department. If you haven't watched that video, please watch that video and come back here. And every video in our channel is going to be part of entire course or a playlist. Our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concepts. And the link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Now coming to this class, uh, we will try to insert uh, uh, values into the uh, tables that we have created. So the tables are here uh, employee in the employee table we'll try to insert these values and uh, in the department values we'll try to insert these values so the command that is used is insert into so this is the structure of the command so insert into is the keyword insert into is the keyword and here the table name the table into which we are trying to insert and after that we have to start with an open brace and after that the column names to the columns uh, uh, to the columns which uh, we would like to insert the values column 1 column 2 column 3 so on so if we are having 10 columns all the column names has to be provided okay and the next keyword is values so these are the values that are to be inserted value 1 value 2 value 3 so what happens here is this value 1 will get inserted into column 1 value 2 the correspondingly the values will get inserted value 2 will get inserted into column 2 similarly value 3 will get inserted into column 3 so value 2 will get inserted into column 2 value 3 will get inserted into column 3 and value 4 value 5 so on they will get inserted into the corresponding columns if you recap our creation uh, knowledge if you recap our uh, 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 creation of the employee table we have created uh, uh, three four five six seven eight nine ta nine columns in employee table and the column names are f name middle initial l name ssn birth date uh, address sex salary and uh, department number correspondingly james will get inserted into these are the values that are provided here so if the if the data type of the column uh, the value to be inserted in the column is of where care then it has to be provided with uh, single quotes so here all these are where care so uh, the single quotes are to be provided and this is of type uh, integer so ssn is of type integer is given so this value will get inserted into ssn and similarly birth date is of a date format this is the date format that we are providing 10th november 1937 see here 10th november 1937 and the address part and this is uh, uh, this is sex and after that salary and department number he is working so in the department number one he is working okay so now uh, uh, as 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 we will uh, execute this statement the values will get inserted into employee table and similarly if you take department table into the department table we have, we have created three columns d name d number and locations and the corresponding values are research research department name is research so uh, uh, and the department number is five and the location is vijayawada so these are the values that will get inserted into the department table let's try to insert these values practically on our sql plus so this is our sql plus let's try to insert the values see here insert into employee so the same query has been copied here okay we'll take another one uh, this is this is the same uh, query that we have taken and just press enter a row created so we have created a row so how to verify that the values has been created so for that we are having a different command we are not going to discuss about that command at this point of time so just uh, press enter so see here this is uh, f name has been uh, james has been inserted into f name middle name e l name bark uh, next it is ssn and this is date uh, address and this is a sex salary and department number okay so with this we have created uh, a row into the employee table 
for example if we want to create a row in the department table see here in, uh, insert values into insert into department values the values or these are the values and uh, just enter one row created a row has been created to to see whether the row has been created or not we are not going to discuss about uh, uh, the query okay see here the department values has been inserted so this is how this is how the values will get inserted into the tables hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get uh, uh, they will also get benefited thanks for watching